as one who has been in the space for quite some time now one of the price we pay for financial freedom is financial responsibility and um, blockchain generally um, as regards cryptocurrency security should be everyone's responsibility and something you keep as um, a top priority when you are interacting with the blockchain so um, how to safeguard your uh, your private key is your own responsibility and if anything should happen to the private key then you stand the risk of losing the whole money in your wallet it can go in seconds we have heard of people who risk um, their private key maybe by um, saving it online on their email or on a phone that is connected to the internet the phone was hacked and their phone disappeared in minutes i know of a guy who lost some um, 10 million dollars just to um, some of this um, risk or some of these dangers and loopholes I have highlighted about. So in this video, I will show us how you can um, safeguard your private key and where to a kind of keep your crypto that you have total control over it. So I'll be interacting with um, Exodus Wallet and I'm using the app Exodus, Exodus Wallet is a, is a decentralized application that is on the blockchain that use the blockchain and um, I'll be moving my crypto assets that is on Bybit. Bybit is a centralized exchange that hold my private key. I don't have control over the private key there so i'm going to move my asset that is on bybit which is a centralized exchange to um exodus which is a decentralized exchange that i have total control over so um a lot of crypto expert that i know that have really made huge profit and they are really imparting and building on the blockchain the advice that you keep a junk that is a whole lot of your crypto assets on a decentralized exchange where you hold the private uh, private key where you can control everything that happens in the wallet there and it is safe for you not to a kind of write that private key or save it online you can use a hard um, crypto wallet like a ledger nano or other um, hard device um, external device that you can save your public key and you can save your crypto assets there so this is my exodus account so i'm going to copy the btc um public key here which is just as the same as your bank account number so after copying it i will go to my buy bit account where i will send my crypto that is my bitcoin which is on buy bit to my exodus wallet so the first thing i'll do here let me go back and this is my phone here i don't have quite much here but i will click on the withdraw button then i'll select the asset so then um i have to add the address that i'm withdrawing this um coin to that is my bitcoin to so i'll add the address manually so i'll click on the add button network okay i'll just add the crypto assets here the network has already been selected then um, i'll click on no verification needed for this address next time so i'll click on no then i'll click on confirm so um for security reasons they will send a verification code to my email address 
and also I will enter my Google Authenticator code here. So I'll click on the get code so that the email, the code now will be sent to my email address immediately. So I'll click on it here. And I need to solve a capture. It's loading now. So once it appears, I will just solve the capture, then click on enter. Then the verification code has been sent. So I'll proceed to my email address. This is um, where my email is. Then I'll click on email. So I'll just get um, to the. I'll just get to the email. Okay, this is the one. So I'll just refresh this page to see the message that was sent. Okay, it seems to me like the message has not entered yet. Let me go back. So um, this is the verification code that was sent. I'll click on it, then I'll have to copy it, then go to, I'll paste it here. Then I'll enter my Google Authenticator code. I I normally advise since um, if, if you have a two device if you have not yet purchased maybe your external um, device where you can save your um, private key and the rest for extra security you may just um, activate the Google Authenticator code on a different device so that when your phone get lost um, anybody that is in possession of that phone will not have full access to your wallet even if he logs in and try to withdraw he will need the google authenticator code to activate that transaction so i have my on a different device and i'm going to enter it here now so after entering it i'll click on the confirm and ok i'll click on the ok to add the wallet you haven't enabled the withdrawal address whitelist function let me just enable it and um, okay i can just do it from here enable withdrawal whitelist once enabled let me just read it so in essence what um, um what they are saying here now to enable the white um, the address whitelist um, once the address whitelist is enabled you won't need to um, verify it next time when you are withdrawing now for the sake of this video i won't be enabling it i'll just withdraw it directly directly since i've added the address already so i'm going to the withdraw button now okay i'll add okay i want to withdraw all then here i will still go and copy the address from my exodus wallet i mean so it is a little bit um different x um, by bit withdrawing from by bit is a little bit different from other um crypto exchange so you have to just follow it step by step and be patient follow the procedure so after adding the the um, the public key now then setting the amount I'll click on withdraw so once I click on withdraw this transaction should be done successfully let me try it again I think I've already chosen this okay verify so it's proceeding now okay the same code i have to verify the transaction again so the code will be sent to my wallet to do the verification process to verify the transaction 
that is verify my withdrawal the first verification we did was to add the withdrawers address so this um, the verification now is to activate the withdrawal process properly so I have to solve the capture after solving the capture I think the withdrawal should be done successfully let me see okay the code has been sent so I'll go to my email address now to copy it uh, it, it, it is just perfect that you follow it step by step no need to rush um, any rush can lead to the loss of your phone so it's just you just need patience so I'll enter the code here then from my Google Authenticator I'll enter the code from my Google Authenticator to activate this transaction so once entered I'll click on OK so submitted successfully withdraw application submitted in progress please head to the access page to check the status so now um, I'll just um, you know, now I'll just head to the to the history to check the status of the withdrawal so withdrawal is currently in progress so while we wait for the withdrawal to be executed I will take us to my Exodus wallet while we wait for the asset to be deposited on my Exodus account remember I'm withdrawing this asset my bitcoin now from my bybit account to my exodus wallet so um i bought the bitcoin from um, ex um from my bybit buy account why because i needed to buy it with a fiat currency and um then I, I needed to move it to my Exodus wallet because I have total control of that wallet and I needed to do a lot of transactions there as well and I felt that it's more safe to have your that is your assets on a decentralized exchange to a centralized exchange so while we are still waiting for the transaction to be executed successfully let's see if it enters successfully it will display here so let's wait a little bit for it to display so as we can see on our screen here now the bitcoin withdraw withdrew from my bybit account has been deposited into my exodus wallet so here is it um, this is the total amount that came and the dollar what is um, 112 dollar so it came just now this is the detail of the transaction deposited and um, receiver this is the transaction id and now so this is just the detail so this is um the simple way you can withdraw your assets which is on a centralized exchange to a decentralized exchange or a decentralized dApps like um, we have a lot of decentralized exchanges or wallets that can you can hold your private key and your also you have total control of your assets we have um, exodus is one of the best we have um, safe power is also there yeah and all these um, decentralized um, wallets or exchanges they have um, they, they, they have apps either on i either the axis um they have both apps um compatible with I, ios ios then also on android as well and you can also download them and use them on your computer system as well for exodus you can also use the um, um the desktop application to do your transactions so um 
there are a lot of features here because of the length of this video i won't be going through all but subsequently in my next video i'll be showing us some of the um, buttons here how to use it how to go about it and um, that will benefit you so i just subscribed to this um, to exodus now i've heard about it and i know it's very strong so i'll be using it from now on so you, you may want to give them a try and maybe you see that it's a very nice wallet to use. So this is all we can take for this video. Trade wisely, cryptocurrency is risky, invest your spare money and as you do, I, I, it, is my, it is my pleasure that we all profit from this industry and also do um, um, impactful things in our lives and in the lives of others. So thank you, trade wisely, bye my friends.